What's up guys, I'm Random Frank P, and as promised, I have a short little video for you on how to enable G-Sync with your FreeSync monitors. This is something consumers have been asking for for years now, and it's finally a possibility now that NVIDIA is on board in 2019, so you could take advantage of the refresh rate in your monitors without having to worry about the compatibility with AMD and NVIDIA. So it's pretty simple, shouldn't take more than around, you know, five minutes max. And I'll kind of show you, you know, like the tutorial and a comparison difference so you can see the before and after with like the tearing and stuff versus now that smoother, uh, more, you know, high refresh rate uh, in your gameplay. So I'm gonna do this on two different panels because it's for just for my setup. Uh, my ultra wide's here that I have, they're the LG 34 GK 950 FB. So you guys know I'm a big fan of the ultra wide, the 3440 by 1440p. And they have 144 hertz refresh rate in this panel. And for those who aren't a fan of ultra wide's, you want that traditional 16 by nine ratio while you're gaming. We also have the LG 32 GK 850 FB, which is 2560 by 1440p. It's a 31 and a half inch model. This also has 144 hertz refresh rate with their Radeon FreeSync 2 technology. So first and foremost, in order for this to even be possible, you have to have the latest uh, NVIDIA, either the GTX 10 series or the newer RTX series. So GTX 10, 50, 60, 70, 80, or some of the newer RTX cards. And also it might sound silly, but you have to have the latest update for your drivers. It's often one of the things that people overlook and forget is to update your drivers. So it has to be updated. It was released with a GeForce driver uh, 417.71. And that came out last month, which enabled all this. So just make sure you have that or the latest version, depending on when you're watching this. Then lastly, you need to use a DisplayPort cable because HDMI is not gonna work with this. So starting off on your actual monitor, you have to navigate through the menus to turn on FreeSync or Adaptive Sync, depending on your panel. These LG monitors do use FreeSync, like I said, so we're gonna turn that on. Now onto your PC, you have to right click on your desktop to enter the NVIDIA control panel. And the first thing under Manage 3D Settings, you wanna navigate down to you see Vertical Sync. Click on that and turn on. Next up under the display tab is the setup G-Sync menu. You're gonna to wanna to click on the box that says enable G-Sync. I always play my games in just full screen mode, so I'm just gonna leave that as is. Now, if you do have a multi-monitor setup, underneath that is a section for picking which display you're using this on. So you'll notice the NVIDIA logo here on the primary one. Then I'm gonna click on the box for the enable settings for the selected display model. And again, you're only gonna to have to do this if you have multiple monitors. Click apply to save it. It might take a second to refresh, but you should be good to go. So from here, the technical stuff is all pretty much done. Uh, there is some arguing back and forth on the internet about people saying that in the actual game, you should also have VSync on. Others are saying no. I reached out to an NVIDIA rep and they told me this. You should have it on by default already, but like I showed you before, um, in the NVIDIA control panel, just make sure you have that VSync option uh, turned on under the manage 3D settings. And then in your actual game, you wanna have VSync turned off. That's gonna give you the best results with no tearing. So again, doing it in your NVIDIA panel is gonna have so these system drivers are recognizing G-Sync. This is gonna eliminate that confusion of having it turned on in game. And also if you wanna take it a step further, a lot of games do have a built-in FPS limiter in their graphic settings. You're gonna to wanna to cap the frame rate three frames below your monitor's maximum refresh rate. So with these LG monitors here, again, like I said, it's 144 hertz. So we're gonna set it to 141 hertz. What this is gonna do is it's gonna prevent the actual frame rate from going over that upper G-Sync limit, which is then going to disable G-Sync. And that's why you're gonna notice a lot of the tearing. You can use something like Riva Tuner or other third-party programs, but a lot of these modern titles now do have the option to set a frame rate cap. So pretty much so you have it. Big thing to remember here, G-Sync and V-Sync turned on in your control panel and V-Sync turned off in game settings. Then once you get it all enabled, if you have a higher refresh rate monitor like the 144 Hertz one, the difference from always playing at the limited like 60 Hertz to now jumping to that 144 is, it's extremely noticeable in person. Since these videos are being, you know, filmed and exported at 30 FPS, it might not seem like a huge drastic difference, but in person, it is just so much more smooth. I've been playing a lot of Battlefield 5 lately, and again, once you have it enabled, it all looks great. Now, NVIDIA does currently have a list of like their approved panels they're talking about. Uh, their main goal, they said, is to go through and physically check every single panel out there to make it compatible. Um, so their list right now is kind of limited of what they, you know, deem certified. And like I said, they're going through and they are testing each one. So it's a matter of time before they actually update the full list of what is certified. Uh, but as long as your actual panel that you buy does have FreeSync and you have the latest RTX or the GTX cards, you're gonna be fine. So all right guys, that'll wrap it up for my tutorial on enabling G-Sync with your FreeSync monitors. Hope you all enjoyed and hope you found it helpful. 
If you did, give this video a big thumbs up to show your support. Feel free to follow me on Twitter, at RandomFrankP. And last, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. Well, I'm Random Frank P. Hope you enjoyed. Have a good day.